Hey everybody, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up Guns and Gear Reviews. This morning we are out to do a classic review. It's review time, and we've got the Daystate Wolverine HPR and 22 caliber right here. I've got a nice little assortment of pellets over here this morning we're going to try, so we're going to spend some time shooting this at 50 and then at 100 yards, show you all what kind of results you can expect at those distances, and of course what kind of power we're getting over the chronograph. Let's get it started. So here we are hanging out at the shooting bench. Got the crony set up over there and a nice selection of pellets here for us this morning. Got some JSB options, H&N options, and even throwing in a Rogue option here this morning, some of these Normas. And we're gonna just see what shoots the best out of it first here at 50 yards and then take whatever shoots the best and stretch it on out to 100. Now, talking about this setup here this morning, what we've got here is, of course, the Daystate Wolverine HPR and 22 caliber. It's got a laminate wood stock, and I just really like this stock design. I love where it has the thumb rest there, and it's actually ambidextrous, so you could use it right-handed or left-handed. Side lever action, which can be actually switched to the left-hand side super crisp and very predictable. Right now, it's set maybe just a little bit heavier for my personal taste, but I haven't gone in there and messed with the trigger yet. Of course, it's adjustable. Now with my current tuning on this, it's gonna get you right around 40-ish shots on the reg. Now, even once you're off the reg, you're not gonna notice it at 50 and really even at 100 yards, it's barely noticeable. For those first few shots, you're definitely not gonna notice it. This thing's just staying accurate and consistent. This morning, I've got it topped with my MTC Optics Viper Pro. This is a five to 30 power scope. And of course, makes a great pair for this rifle for doing this kind of bench rest shooting that I'm doing this morning. Very clear, very nice glass, excellent reticle, and makes shooting nice tiny groups, which we'll do in just a minute here. Last thing, of course, is out there on the end, you see I've got my zero dB moderator, and I have found that this gun is actually both more quiet and slightly more accurate with that on there, and why not put it on if you've got it? So it's on there, and I'm loving the results I'm getting. So there's the setup. Now let's get to shooting this guy.
Wow. So at 50 yards, that Wolverine HPR is a definite contender. And with some of these pellets today, I got just about exactly what I am used to getting. And some of them kind of blew me away. Let's talk about these results here. Started off with the JSB 1813s. Those are a great pellet. Something just magic about the 1813. They seem to work in any air gun I've ever tested them in. Some better than others, but they're a great starting point. I was aimed right there at the top corner of that red and put five shots just about right where I was aiming. Dialed in. Next group turned out even better. Pretty, like, really just about amazing, actually. This is what I got here. Five shots with the heavy redesigns. JSB heavy redesigns. Those, I mean, I... I wish I had a caliper set to put on that group because that is a darn impressive group. I don't even know what else to say about that. Next, thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I don't shoot the GTOs a lot, but this morning I was in a mood, so I threw some of those lead-free GTOs in there, cracked the sound barrier, all five shots right there for some 50-yard sound barrier crack in action that is an impressive group i mean come on what can you really say about that pellets don't normally travel very stable right at over 1100 feet a second but when you're getting inch at 50 yards whoo that's 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 worth mentioning anyways right guys so moving on Next couple of groups, we shot some H&Ns. Eh, you know, this one here is decent, but they didn't really seem to work that well out of that gun. I'm not trying to make a JSB commercial here this morning. I know I'm wearing my JSB shirt, but trust me guys, that's not what I was setting out to do. Just happened to, to work out that way. Those H&Ns, a lot of times, man, those 15s and 18s are like dialed in, uh, but Wolverine just, for whatever reason, didn't like them. So I, I moved on. Then next, just got to talk real quick about this group here with the Normas, just because those seem to be something that could be great. You know, I had two shots just right on top of each other. Then one fell there, one fell there, and then the fifth one right there. So, I mean, I'm thinking that it's a sorting issue with those pellets. When you look in the tin on those guys, I mean, they're gorgeous. They're, sh they're all shiny and they look very uniform, beautiful pellets. But if I sort them, maybe I'll see what's going on because I want to be able to group like that and not end up with these crazy flyers. And that seems to be the case I get with those Normas kind of out of any gun I shoot them out of. So anyhow, that being said, Let's move on to our final and probably most impressive group at 50 yards here this morning, which is the JSB Hades. I think those might have done even marginally better than the redesigned heavies, and they are moving quick, over a thousand feet a second, right around a thousand fifty feet a second, and we are punching like a quarter inch group at 50 yards with a hunting pellet at over a thousand feet a second. That's pretty exciting. I think that Wolverine HPR has got just some serious hunting capability. I mean, if you want to argue with me, you can look right there and argue with that group. So that's our 50 yard results. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these 1813s, some of these heavy redesigns, and some of these Hades, set up a target down there at 100 yards, and see what we can do before the wind picks up.
All right, guys, let's talk about this down here. 100 yard results. I'm going to try to explain what you're seeing there on the paper for y'all. So, this group here and this group here, five shots there and five shots there were kind of cider groups. So, let's just sort of scratch those two off. So, once I had done this practice group down here with the heavies, I shot this six shot group right up here. I was trying to get them on the red, but they fell a little bit low. But we had six shots right there in about an inch and a half. Not bad for 100 yard results. So practiced a little here with the 18-1-3s. was trying to get them. I was actually aiming right there at that corner of the red and uh, did this six shot group right there. Just about the same size as the uh, as the heavy redesigns. I'm gonna call that about an inch and a half group as well. Not bad grouping out of a 22 cal at 100 yards, pretty dang awesome stuff. So I wanted to see what it was gonna do, of course, with those Hades. I mean, gosh, the Hades did amazing at 50 yards. So had to try those at 100 yards. And went down here and I got all these shots here and I'm thinking man these Hades are are the ticket I was trying to put them on the red and I was actually kind of aimed right here at this bottom corner of the red just to try to pick a real nice small aim point put a five or six shots there but then finished out the mag over there you know I'm thinking that kind of that's first of all hundred yards is pushing it especially when Gosh, those Hades are doing over a thousand feet a second out of that thing. At that speed, 100 yards accuracy like that is pretty impressive, um, just nonetheless. But then you also have to take into account that those Hades, since they are a lighter pellet, a lot more of them are having, you know, bent skirts. And problems like that aren't showing up, obviously, for us at 50 yards, but try to stretch it all the way to 100, and that's obviously when you're going to see those subtle differences in pellet weight and you know maybe some deformations on the skirts so there you go guys 100 yard results oh gotta just briefly mention this this big group that i tried to draw a circle around here this is five shots with those gto pellets cracking the sound barrier at over 1100 feet a second and they actually held a pretty tight group at 50 yards so i thought what the heck let's see what they can do at 100 and obviously they're completely unusable at 100 but interesting just to hear that sound barrier crack of course don't do that very often with an air gun so there you have it guys that's our 100 yard results with the wolverine hpr all right so there you have it results like that at 50 and out at 100 yards with a 22 beautiful hunting and bench shooting rifle like this i think just really speak for themselves i had a whole lot of fun out here this morning if you guys like this video definitely check this one out right up here had the wolverine out to do some hunting so click that one right there opportunity to see some wolverine hunting action i'll see you guys over there